Today, the lesson is how living things depend on one another. We will learn about ways organisms get energy. We will investigate to find out how animals' teeth relate to the food they eat. We will also learn about what are producers, consumers and decomposers. How do animals get their food? All living things need food, plants, animals and people. Food gives your body the energy you need. But can you make your own food? No! Plants can. Plants can make their own food by using sunlight, air and water. It is called photosynthesis. Plants store the extra food that they make. The food is full of energy. Animals cannot make their own food. Some animals, such as rabbits or sheep, eat plants to get energy. The energy in the plants goes into the animal's body. Other animals get energy by eating the rabbits and the sheep. Producers, consumers and decomposers. Producers. Plants are producers. A producer is a living thing that makes or produces its own food. Producers use this food to grow. Grass is a producer. So are trees and bushes. Consumers. Animals are consumers. A consumer is a living thing that gets energy by eating other things as food. Consumers cannot make their own food. Deer, eagles, frogs and even people are consumers. Decomposers. Some living things are decomposers. A decomposer breaks down dead things for food. Earthworms, bacteria and mushrooms are decomposers. Most of the decomposers are very small. You can see them only with a microscope. What food do animals eat? Herbivores. An herbivore is an organism that eats only plants. Tiny bees are herbivores and so are elephants and giraffes. Herbivores have body parts that help them eat plants. A hummingbird has a long beak and tongue that help it to reach the nectar in flowers. Cows and horses have flat teeth for chewing grass. Carnivores. A carnivore is a consumer that gets its food by eating other animals. They have body parts that help them to hunt and eat their food. A hawk has claws to catch the rabbit. Its big tears meet easily. A leopard spots hide it as it sneaks up on its next meal. It has sharp teeth that help it to catch and kill and eat. Omnivores. An omnivore is a consumer that eats both plants and meat. The chimpanzee eats mostly fruits, but it also eats ants and other insects. The raccoon eats nearly everything duck, eggs, mice, frog, sweet corn, insects, and fruits. They have sharp teeth in the front that help tear the meat. Flat teeth in the back that help grind plants. Food chains. A food chain shows the path of food from one living thing to another. A food chain always starts with the sun. Plants use the energy in the sunlight to help make food. For example, one food chain begins with corn plants that make their own food. Next, a chicken eat corn from the plant. Then, the chicken lays an egg and you eat the egg. Here are some examples of food chains. 
predators and prey. An animal that hunts other animals for food is a predator. A tiger is a predator. An animal that is hunted for food is a prey. Rabbits and mice are often prey for the wolf. A gazelle is the prey of the cheetah. Checkpoint. True or false? Plants make their own food. True. Plants store extra food in their parts. True. Plants are consumers. False. Consumers eat other living things. False. An earthworm is a decomposer. True. People and animals are decomposers. True. A carnivore has sharp teeth. True. An herbivore eats meat and plants. False. A raccoon eats nearly everything. False. Answer the questions. What shows the path of food from one living thing to another? A food chain. What gets its food by eating other animals? Consumers. What breaks down dead things for food? Decomposers. What is at the beginning of every food chain? The sun. What do we call an animal that hunts other animals for food? A predator. What do we call an animal that is hunted for food? A prey. What do animals get when they eat food? Energy. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye. Thanks for watching. For more lessons, please subscribe. See you soon.